Okay guys, welcome back. Dr. H here with a quick tutorial on Maya and UV textures. Now this tutorial is showing you how to fix an issue that's been happening with Maya 2018 for some people when they try to UV. Let me show you the issue first of all. So I'm going to create an object here. I'm going to go straight to the UV, UV editor, as normal. I'm going to open that up. The object selected. I'm just going to automatically map it. Now I would join this up the normal way that you normally UV. I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this demonstration. What I would do, just make sure I'm on object mode. I've got the object selected as an object. There it is. What I would ordinarily do to take a UV snapshot is I'd go image UV snapshot. And then I might browse, for example, to this folder I've created on the desktop called Maya UVs. Open it up and I might create something called testing one. There it is. I click save. I click apply and close and it certainly closes. But then if I go to that folder, desktop, my UVs, there's nothing there. <clears throat> so here's the problem and here is how you fix the problem. Instead of going to UV snapshot, when you go to image, go to create PSD network. Then you need to check a few options. At the start, that might be dechecked and that might be dechecked. The first thing you need to do is check both of those, include a UV snapshot and make sure that it opens Photoshop. The second thing you need to do is come down here and make sure that you're actually passing one of these attributes across. The most basic one is color. Now color will take any texture if you've got texture on there, but we don't have any texture on there at the moment, so that won't be an issue. So I've selected color, and I'm just going to pass that attribute across because I want to take that when I do my UV snapshot. The final thing I need to do is change the path here. I'm going to change that path to the folder I just showed you on the desktop that I've created called my UVs. This time I'm going to call it something else and I click save and I click create. And as soon as I do, not only will it save that file, but it will also open up something else in here in Photoshop ready for me to save on it, merge it back down and then drop the texture on. And just to demonstrate that, what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to put some pink texture in the background because why not? I'm going to leave the mesh on so we can see it. And then I'm just going to save this as a JPEG. I'll save it in the same folder. Save it as a JPEG. Save. Save. And then I'm going to go back into Maya. I'm going to find my object. Make sure I'm on textured mode. Six. There's my object. And because I haven't assigned any, any material, I'm just going to assign this a Lambert as normal. Get rid of that. As normal. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to attach a file. And the file that I want is the file that I've just created with the pink to show you that it is possible to put it back on again in JPEG format. There is my basic file. That is how you solve the UV problem in Maya. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for more Dr. Octobeard tutorials.